Hi there, this is John Roseman with Tonsoria Virtuoso once again. Thank you for joining us here in TV Studios. Here we're doing a uh, update of the video for the curly mustache. So what we're going to be working with today is three principal uh, materials or supplies to accomplish this. Uh, number one is the spritz that you see me working into the uh, mustache ends here. I usually add a little water to my fingers to dilute the spritz. Don't really want it that concentrated as I'm uh, working it into the, those ends. And at this point, I've begun to twist it and organize the hair, get it to stay uh, a collect and um, gather together for the next step. So other than the uh, spritz, we'll also be using a curling iron here. As you see, I have uh, begun to work with already. This is a ceramic curling iron by Andis. I would actually prefer one that uh, is just a tad bit smaller, but I borrowed this one from my wife and it works. So with that curling iron, there's the settings range from 1 to 10, and I usually have it set at about 5. So the iron is not real hot. You ideally don't want it too hot, uh, obviously getting the a tool like that that close to your face you don't want it that hot and you don't need it that hot um, just uh, enough heat to more or less uh, form the hair and somewhat dry up those spritz and get you a nice uh, a nice curly mustache there so at this point we've taken out another product that I want to tell you about this uh, uh, mustache wax by a company called Clubman and I put a little bit of that onto my fingers and twist it as you see into the mustache or the uh, curly portion of the mustache this uh, adds a um, uh, luster and uh, some obvious effects Now the curling iron actually did most of the shaping of the mustache uh, along with the spritz. Get some of that wax off of my fingers. Here we continue to uh, clean the look up by trimming away stray hairs that didn't quite get organized into the wax or into the curling iron hairs that were either too short some too long uh, kind of clean around the portion that has been curled and waxed This is where we try to accomplish some symmetry as well. If one side is much longer than the other, might trim it shorter. So you've basically seen the critical steps uh, that are unique to my uh, process for uh, developing the curly mustache look. And here we're going into just some regular old barber type of things with a uh, straight razor. Going to kind of clean up and, and, and trim up the area where I've been working just to make it a little bit more smooth and obviously if you're doing this for yourself you can do it to your taste and to your discretion
when I'm trimming away the excess hairs, you also see me more or less pulling away what I've trimmed or what has been cut out of the mustache, gently doing that so as to not mess up the form of the uh, curled portion. Just gently pulling away what whatever's been cut. Further trimming here. So I wasn't really sure actually if I was going to be able to pull this off. I hadn't tried this mustache curling look for some time and just more or less assumed that I had enough to work with. And, and fortunately I did at least enough to demonstrate the technique. So together with the mustache and the beard, this is a modern twist on uh, a classic look often referred to as the imperial beard. So we're going back to that club man wax. By the way, you can get this in uh, a number of colors as well as neutral. Uh, the application I'm using today or in this demonstration is black. <laughs> 